The Hugo Awards, named after Hugo Gernsback, are presented every year for the best science fiction or fantasy works and achievements of the previous year. Results are based on the ballots submitted by members of the World Science Fiction Society. The 20th World Science Fiction Convention, also known unofficially as Chacon 3, less frequently, Chacon 2, was held August 31 to September 3, 1962, at the Pitt Congress Hotel in Chicago, Illinois, United States. Because the Second World Cup held in Chicago was officially called, in its publications, the 10th Annual World Science Fiction Convention and once as the 10th Annual Science Fiction Convention and not Chacon, the next Chicago World Cup held in 1962 was occasionally referred to as Chacon II, though Chacon III is the generally accepted and preferred nomenclature. The chairman was Earl Kemp. The guest of honor was Theodore Sturgeon. The toastmaster was Wilson Tucker. Total attendance was approximately 730. Following the convention, Advent Publishers published the proceedings, Chacon 3, edited by Earl Kemp. The book includes transcripts of lectures and panels given during the course of the convention and includes numerous photographs as well. Events at the convention included an address by Willie Lay. Events <laughs> 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 During his Guest of Honor speech, Theodore Sturgeon expressed regret that Hugo Award winner Robert A. Heinlein could not attend. Heinlein, at that moment, walked into the ballroom, in a white tux, saying that Ted's regret for his non-attendance was premature. He went to the podium, and Sturgeon offered him a sip from a water glass, asking Heinlein to share water with him a reference to Stranger in a Strange Land, Heinlein and Sturgeon shared water. Before the convention, in 1961, Chairman Earl Kemp wrote to Isaac Asimov relaying that someone had jokingly suggested that Asimov deliver a pseudo-lecture on the theme the positive power of posterior pinching", and offered that the convention would "...furnish some suitable posteriors for demonstration purposes." Asimov responded, "...I have no doubt I could give a stimulating talk that would stiffen the manly fiber of every one in the audience." However, he noted, I will have to ask the permission of various people who are or would be concerned in the matter. If they say no, it will be no. The suggested pseudo lecture did not occur. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards. The Hugo Awards, named after Hugo Gernsback, are presented every year for the best science fiction or fantasy works and achievements of the previous year. The results are based on the ballots submitted by members of the World Science Fiction Society. Other awards, including the John W. Campbell Award for Best New Writer since 1973, are also presented at each year's World Cup. Topic: Hugo Awards. Best Novel: Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert A. Heinlein. Best Short Fiction: The Hot House series, collected as The Long Afternoon of Earth by Brian W. Aldiss. Best Dramatic Presentation: The Twilight Zone. Best Professional Artist, Ed M. Schwiller Best Professional Magazine, Analog Best Fanzine, Warhoon, edited by Richard Bergeron Other awards 
Special Award, Seal Goldsmith for Editing Amazing Stories and Fantastic Magazines Special Award, Donald H. Tuck for the Handbook of Science Fiction and Fantasy Special Award, Fritz Lieber and the Hoffman Electric Corporation for the Use of Science Fiction in Advertisements in fiction S. M. Sterling's 2008 alternate history novel In the Courts of the Crimson Kings begins with a prologue set at this convention, in which a group of the science fiction authors in attendance watch a television broadcast of an American space probe as it lands on an inhabited Mars. Those present include Frederick and Carol Pohl, Pohl Anderson, H. Beam Piper, Guest of Honor Theodore Sturgeon, Jack Williamson, Robert and Virginia Heinlein, Arthur C. Clarke, Larry Niven, Isaac Asimov, L. Sprague and Catherine Crook de Camp, John W. Campbell, Frank Herbert, and Lee Brackett. Heinlein mentions an idea for a novel about Mars he had had but set aside when the preliminary orbital telescope reports had come in. In actual history the completed book, Stranger in a Strange Land, won the Hugo Award for Best Novel at the convention. The author's comment as the broadcast from the probe reveals a Martian canal and wildlife and then, startlingly, the arrival of human-like Martians in a land ship who haul the probe off. Topic. See also World Science Fiction Society